Ronnie Dale for wheelingwestonaustralia.com and Harry Fisher, fightafork.net. Welcome to Deep Fry Friday. Taking the word Friday very, very literally. Well done. Thank you. So what you are about to see is cooking with deep frying. Now, hopefully you'll be a little bit amused, but you'll also learn a lot of things like batters. Yep, so we're doing a beer batter, pretty ordinary, um, a coconut cream batter. Is that we're doing... it? I wasn't going to say anything. But... <laughs> um, and a nice tempura batter. Then we're going on to crumbing. So crumbing, we do yes. all different types of crumbing, including southern style chicken, southern style chicken corn flakes. Various meats we're cooking, chicken, venison, sausages, yep. just for something a bit different. And there are some random things going in there too. Veggies, fries, all kinds of things. And then um, there are also some failed attempts, which... Yes. Yeah. They're, they're still tasty though. Oh, how about that brie? I don't want to spoil too much. The ice cream didn't go as well as planned. No, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Alright, so stay tuned. Rightio. First, we need a fire and we need a camp oven. So we are using a Swedish log torch here, or a Swedish fire torch, which we are cutting with the chainsaw. And we're using a Snowpeak tripod to hold a camp oven. Our second method is a Snowpeak fire pit with just a cheap old wok on top of it. And that is also a great way of doing it. But you must be super careful when you're cooking with deep frying. So what we're doing now is we're adding three liters of rice oil. Rice oil has a higher smoke rate than most other oils. What you don't want to use for deep frying is definitely olive oil. It'd be too expensive too. Do some, Make some chips, eh? Let's do some chips. Using your semi cleaver. Yeah, I'll do the um, the old rough cut. We'll throw a bit of a. Got my Hollywood board here from Snow Peak. Now this knife is seriously sharp. You got to try it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's like butter. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Wow, that's ridiculous. So these are so. pre-washed potatoes, which I recommend you do if you're out in the bush, because you're not wasting water trying to wash them. With sweet potato, you leave the skin on. It's where all the nutrients is. Um, and it tastes good. Sorry, we put a test chip in there a second ago. That'll be fine. There'll just be one really cooked one. Um, a lot of people put things in a deep fryer when the temperature's really, really hot. Strangely enough, potatoes are fine to put in with not that hot of an oil, and you can heat the oil up slowly. Uh, it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but you'd be surprised how effective it is. All right, you ready? Yep. Alright, this is by far not the healthy version of cooking. It looks so good. <laughs> it's tasty though. Everything bad is tasty. Fat is flavour, they say. We're going to do some loaded fries, yeah? Yeah, we'll do loaded fries afterwards. Yes, we're doing loaded fries. Right down here we have the wok which we're going to put the chips in. And we have some paper to absorb some of the um, oil. Don't want too much oil. Yeah, that's, that's kicking now. Yeah, that log fire is working really well. Sticky bacon on the fire pit. This is where I load of fries. We haven't had breakfast yet, by the way. Load of fries for breakfast and regular fries. Batch number two, going in. Get a handful. Oh, I have big hands. Yep. A little bit more. All right, bacon. Because the chips are already cooked, and the only thing we're trying to cook is the cheese and bacon, we're not putting any heat underneath, just all heat on top. The residual heat from the camp oven before is tons. And then I'll throw a few sticks on here as well. So basically same principle when you cook pizzas and camp ovens. Yeah. You just want the heat from the top. 
Exactly right. Harry came up with a, with an idea that some people might think will be reckless. I think it sounds delicious. Deep fried bacon. Let's do it. What are we doing there, Harry? Oh, um, being very, very close to nature and, you know, just adding a bit of oxygen with this, which is really, really useful. Ooh. Oh, yes. Deep fried bacon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. So not good for you. <laughs> That's so good in taste. I don't think that has the yeah, Heart Foundation tick of approval. Get one little taste of it and off you go. Yeah. <laughs> Have to throw more in. Get the other packet out. Heck yes. Bacon chips. Oh, they're going to be good. Ooh. Shortcut. So your shortcut's got less fat on it, so it's slightly better. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you want to put it on the table? Oh, yes. They are good to go. Done. Ready to go. That looks good. That's photo worthy, mate. Yeah. Mmm. The sweet potato is good, isn't it? Mmm. I didn't realise I've got a sweet potato. Mmm. Sweet as. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh, yes. We'll show you guys how to do three different batters. What's the first one we're going to do? First one's tempura, so... So it's a light one. It's a light one, Japanese recipe. Uh, this, the basic ingredients for it, a bit of flour. Self-raising flour. Self-raising flour. Uh, high gluten flour is even better, so if you can get some, some baking flour, that's fantastic. Soda water and ice cubes. And an egg. You want to crack an egg for me? Yeah, you want a big one? Yep. These are very, very free range eggs from the side of the road here. There we go. And it's all about just getting the right consistency. It's not so much about specific amounts. Tempura is a very, very, very light batter, and that's why we're using soda water, and that's why we're, it's also the idea behind the ice cubes. It will react more violently or, or quicker to cold uh, batter than it will to hot batter. So, in other words, it fluffs up more because it's cold. Um, and that's also where the soda water comes in because it, it, um, it has bubbles in it, so it makes it lighter. And, and you get that thin layer. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of encases it pretty yeah. much. Get these to, to get the batter to stick. Quick bit of flour on them. Into the batter. And then they are ready for the oil. All right. I'm not an olive man. I, well, I like black olives. Not really keen on... That's much better now. It's the red or the greenies. Incoming olives. Bounce it off there. There we go. So what we're actually deep frying here are sweet potato slices. Now they won't take long at all. It's quite quick. So these will be in there for about two minutes. Tempura goes really well with most vegetables. We're done. Put ready. If you're not an olive fan, you won't, you're not going to like it because it tastes like an olive with tempura on it. So nothing particularly special. Ooh. They are sharp olives. Mm, they're stuffed. What's in them? Um, some sort of pickled thing. This has come out pretty well. Pretty crispy. Mm. That's nice. Mm. So this is um, Heart Foundation approved, but... I don't think anything here is. <laughs> um, this is Top Deck Chocolate, because it's what we've got. And that is Tempura. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Salty and sweet. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we've got to get these now. off quickly. One more with a slightly different technique. 
I'm going to wet it first. I think it'll stick better. Wet it, flour, tempura. Stick, 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 stick. I think it's working. It's working. That looks great. All right, let's let it cool down a bit, eh? Yeah. Chimpura chocolate. Mm. Oh, I saw my two favorite things coming together. Chocolate and deep frying. <laughs> That's good. Oh, magic. I'll top it off with some deep fried bacon. Oh, some more. we should do a deep fried bacon and chocolate. Deep fried bacon chocolate. <laughs> Eating to excess. This is, yeah. Get some flour. Don't, on it. don't try this at all. Oh, do <coughs> Whoops. There we go. I take no responsibility for your health problems as a result of eating this. It's working. Wow. Get rid of that. Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put it in here so we can cut it. Oh. Yeah, here's a sharpie. <laughs> the razor blade. I'm gonna need a JVM upgrade. That's good. Oh, the salt. Oh, it's strange, but it's good. Yeah. We're now onto two different batters. A well-known beer batter. Yep. So I'll do the beer batter. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. This. And you're doing coconut milk batter. I am. Yeah. It's a it's a, a sort of a lighter, fluffier batter. Not quite a tempura, but um, doesn't taste very coconutty. Strangely, it tastes quite normal. Okay. Um, but it just has a different that. consistency. All right. Um, would that be good with ice cream? Because I've got ice cream. We can definitely give it a go. Yes, ice cream. I'll open so this can for Coconut you. cream, coconut milk, whatever. That's just some coconut milk I had. Um. All right, so <laughs> you want half a can? Half a can. <laughs> uh, you can take the boy out of the bush, eh? Cool. Oh, well, on the floor. <laughs> it's not like we have a rug or something. <laughs> I'll put it aside in case you need more. It's all about just add till you get to a specific consistency. So basically all batters, you just need an egg, some liquid and some flour. And I always like to put salt and pepper in there. For savoury, for savoury, obviously. Yeah, we should go on the beer batter. Yeah. In fact, even for sweet things, I still like to put a little bit of salt because salt and sweet go really well. I'm going to pepper as well. Any more of that coconut cream? Yeah. A little bit. Great. So what are we going to do with your batter aside from ice cream? Oh, I love that idea. What kind of ice cream is it? A, have you got like a Magnum or something? Vanilla. You know vanilla. what would be great? A deep fried Magnum. Or, a, you know, an ice cream on a stick. Yeah, but I don't have that. Yeah. That's all I, right. I do have a, um, oh, what have I got? I've got, I got those twisted holes as well, like an icy pole. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I don't think that would work. You never know. A little trick. We're going to try it anyway. A little trick for the bush. I think we give... Half a venison sausage each a go with different batters. Yep. And the way that I like to batter with this sort of a thing is just on a stick. Oh, yeah, and let it hang out. Let it hang. The other, yeah. Let it hang out the side. Let the sausage hang out. I mean, the <laughs> other end of the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mine's a bit lumpy because I don't have a fork. This looks, looks interesting. Familiar. Okay, big thick coating of batter. Now, 
Sausages take a while to cook. So it's, it's like a there's no rush with this. And that's also why we're using this thick batter with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Right, so that's the coconut one. This is the other one. Beer batter. Time for some ice cream. Ooh, got to add a paddle pop. So I've got a paddle pop. I'll show Harry anyway. Think you're going to like this, Harry? What have we got? Well, we got blue ribbon, <laughs> vanilla. Oh man, I've got light. What? 97% fat free. We'll sort that out. <laughs> you're right. We've probably been too healthy this week. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's called a twister. Or a twisty? Cyclone. Cyclone. Cyclone, yes. Thank you, cameraman. And I've got a paddle pop here, which has been a bit squashed. This oh, one, paddle pop. This one's That's been, perfect. This one's from the um, from the Pilbara. Is it? Yeah. Wow, that is old. So for clarity, it's... What? What the hell? That's not a paddle pop. It's, it's melted and wow, frozen. That's, yeah. So for clarity, it is... The 1st of September, 2nd of September, and we left the Pilbara uh, in, on the 28th of May. A while ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. This, this one melts really quick, I know that. The kids get covered in this one. This is an icy pole though. That's not a paddle pop. It's cool, paddle pop. I, I thought it was the pink ones. I thought, yeah, I, th I thought, I was expecting the rainbow kind. All right. Should we do? Let's do the sticks first, because that's gonna, they're going to melt really quick. Okay. Stick in batter. This is the um, coconut one. Sticking well. Beautiful. It's sticking really well. This is going to be explosive, I think. Go yours first, okay. I'll come over. All the way in, next to the sausages. Here comes the second one. I'm gonna get a spoon. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's failing. <laughs> it's failing. Wow, that is, yeah, that's definitely, oh, yep, failed. I think just pull it out. Oh, I'd, I'm, I'm gonna, Take a wild guess and say the other one's probably failing as well in there. Oh, our stick's breaking. This is not going well. Yep, yep. That did not go well at all. Failing? <laughs> How is it? It just tastes like ice cream. Like a greasy ice cream. I'll get some of that. Oh. All right. Feel like a sausage? Look at the color difference. Just from the batter, eh? Yeah. The brown one's mine, yeah? No. Oh. Oh, wait, which one's longer? Your one's a longer one. We'll figure it out. Ooh. No, yeah, this is the Sticks this is the coconut. I'm pretty sure that the one that's split, that's the beer batter one. Yeah, yeah. that's beer batter. So I do have the shorter one. Oh, well. Not everyone gets the long one. Mm. It's a bit soggy. Want to go? Salt sausages? <laughs> I chewed on mine. <laughs> Just I cut, the, cut the end of it off. All right. I cut the end of your sausage off. Beer about as better for that one. I agree. It's got more flavour. be the two different crumb mixes. Yep, we're gonna do two different crumb mixes. We'll start off simple with just breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna get more and more advanced and tastier so you can see the difference. So, panko breadcrumbs. No particular brand, but panko as a style is fantastic. Um, start with one piece of chicken. Flour, egg, 
crumbs. This, I would guess, is gonna be quite bland. Just because I can't really live with myself doing bland cooking. It's gotta have a bit of salt and pepper in there. Oh yeah. And don't worry, this is not, this is not the final recipe, far from it. In the fryer she goes. Next. Parmesan. Parmesan. Just throw some parmesan in the crumbs. Enough? Yep, that's great. Next piece of chicken. So what's the next one gonna be? A quick and easy version of southern fried chicken that I'm just using a pre-mixed spice. Right. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm doing crumbed onion rings. Okay, the darker one is the plain, the lighter one is the spice or the, the That's nearly ready too. And that's nearly ready. While we're waiting for that to cook, let's put the next one in. Now the next one is, oh. that's all good. Not too different. Um, what we're doing here is adding this stuff, Tandako, Tandako um, Southern Fried Chicken Mix. It's very readily available in Australia. Um, there's nothing particularly special about it, other than um, it's quite a good mix. How long are these actually going in? Because they're really quick, hey? Three, four minutes. Mm. Not really long at quick. All. Fried chicken. Yep. Bit more flavour again. Bit more interesting, but. I reckon, American viewers, you guys are the ones that are on top of the southern fried chicken kind of stuff. You gotta send in, send in some recipes down below, and we'll, um, we'll make some up another time. I want to see some, you know, old South Carolina, Alabama, deep South recipes. <laughs> okay, venison crumb sausage with the whole entire mix. Oh, that's gonna be a winner. That one should be the absolute winner. The one thing I've never actually tried, but I've heard a lot about is using corn flour, corn starch, potato starch, sort of, some sort of a, a fine starch, instead of using flour. You feel it, I mean, the consistency is completely different. Now, apparently this makes it a bit crispier. I don't know, let's find out. Right. Okay, so the mix we've got in here is the same as before, except for, do we put spice in this one? There's spice in that one. There's spice in this one too. So this is the corn flour one. It's crispier. The theory is it's crispier. It's less crispy. That's what I reckon. Hmm. It's good though. Use flour, not corn flour. It tastes good though. For dramatic effect. <laughs> Venison crumb sausage. How good does that look? <laughs> a few crumbed olives. Crumbed olives, yeah. Oh, this is so healthy. Done southern fried, we've done um, normal crumbed, we've done plain crumbed, and now, what are you doing? Corn yeah. flakes. Fair enough. Corn flakes crumb. Love it. Now, I think this might be the first time I've ever said this and probably the last time I'll ever say it. You gotta put chili on your cornflakes. Corn flour, to the eggs, to the cornflakes. And you can use normal flour, that's fine. <laughs> that oil's not too hot. Oh, might need a bit more heat. Oh, that's all right. There we go. So this is the venison crumb sausage. I reckon this will be the best one out of the lot. 
I did take it out and put it back in because it wasn't cooked enough. We lost a bit of heat. All right, guys, help yourselves. Make sure you get crumbs with it, though. Oh. Great. Oh, yeah. Hot. <laughs> in, in temperature. Wow. Mm. Good, though. Best so far. <laughs> bit of randomness. <laughs> Deep fried, crumbed lemon. Like I can batter my finger. Oh. One capsicum. Cream cheese. Been in the car for a while, but it's not too old. And we're going to use these skewers. These are double skewers, uni flame skewers. Whoops. Pop the lid back on. Maybe we should try and get it where it was. There it is. Skewers coming through. Now these are breadcrumbs I just chopped up then. Yeah, it's not the best. Please work, because you're going to be so delicious. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> it's okay, you, you can fry half and then fry the other half. Yeah. All right. This is a Ronnie Dahl original. Smaller capsicums are better. We'll spin it around at some point and hopefully it works. All right. Wheel of Triple Cream Tasmanian Heritage Brie, which is delicious. A little bit of water on it. And that's just to help this flour stick. And then we have a medley of breadcrumbs here. Um, I'm just going to go with a simple, fine coating of cornflakes. This actually looks like it's ready to turn, so I'll do that quickly. And then this can just go straight in. This is a lemon. Do you want to try some? Yeah, I'll try some. I could do something to cut through the greasiness. Even the rind is good. The skin. Wow. That is surprising. That's really so oh, oh. surprisingly good. Bit bit enough. I got it down a wind oh, pipe there. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> you don't like it? Initially it was. I think I just got a big bit of really bitter rind. Oh, it's good. It's caramelised. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yeah. The rind. <laughs> oh. The <laughs> foul. <laughs> Oh, that's so weird, good. it took so long to... That's so good. It oh, took so oh, long oh, to do anything. Deep fried onion. Deep fried onion. Deep fried lemon. Lemon, sorry. Deep fried oh, lemon. The flesh is man. fantastic. The... Oh, the rind is terrible. Let's get this um, brie. Oh, it's all swollen and... Yes. So good when you cut it. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, that's really good. Oh, just how good is deep frying? Mm. This, 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 oh, this is amazing. Is, this is good bread too. Hang on, I get this for Dylan. Oh, good mate. Look into this. say, you get a bit of crunch on it. That. Oh, that's what you need. The wax bit. Mm. Oh. oh I'm, I'm just, I'm ditching the crackers. That. 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 
That is so good. Mm. That's ridiculous. Oh, wow. Oh, I love brie. Now I love it even more. It's literally been two minutes. Three, three of us have devoured this brie wheel. This is <laughs> it's incredible. Mmm. Oh man. Have some more, Dylan. Sure. Into that. Do you want some of the um? Want some of the edge? Sure. Oh yeah. Rate that out of ten. That's an eleven. Yeah, Absolutely. I like it. <laughs> Just carefully draining the oil out of this. That cheese is about to come out. Oh, look at it! It's moving. It's like a, it's like a worm. This is gonna be so good. Actually, turned out looking better than what I thought it might. It smells really good. This table looks really messy, but it is, it just demonstrates how much fun we've had today doing all this. This has been so good. All right. Uh, should I let it cool down, you think? Nah. Down, all right, we're going through. We're going in. Oh, that's going to be good. Already know it. Dylan. Thank you. Hot. Too hot? Not good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good. Cap's been top. Mm. Oh, that is really good. That's really good. Yeah, that worked. Worked really well, but what would be even better if these were jalapenos? Jalapenos, that would be awesome. I like how it's blackened and, and gone. What do you reckon? That's good. Mm, the sweetness is really good. It, um, that's actually quite balanced. Mm. Need spice though, eh? Oh, in a jalapeno would be next level, for sure. For sure. That can be arranged, jalapeno poppers. Whew. Well, that was a lot of fun. A lot of eating. Yeah, a lot of eating. Yeah, you had enough, have you? Yeah, yeah. I definitely. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is so good, though. It's do want, just. Do you want some? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. I, I yeah. I, I don't think my doctor would approve. Do you want to tell them where to find more links about the batters and stuff? Yeah, jump onto my website, fightafork.net. Uh, there's a link down there, um, and there'll be a link to Instagram and things if you want to follow the adventures along the way. Um, mm. But yeah, as a sort of a health and safety warning, just one recipe at a time from this particular range. Um, yeah. I don't think that... Yep, make sure your health insurance is up. Um, also, we are going to do various other bits of cooking. Um, so you're going to learn a lot because your mum's a chef. She is. He knows he's cooking. He really does. I know a little bit about cooking, but nowhere near as much as what you do. So he, Harry is going to join me in a lot more videos and we're going to do a lot more cooking. We are going to do more deep frying because I can already hear the requests coming of other things to deep fry. So put them down below. What else can we deep fry for another deep fry Friday? Mars bars are definitely going to be in the next one. So bananas. Stay tuned. Oh, but I forgot and I, I didn't get. Oh, I forgot to make my donuts. Oh. I'll make the best donuts, man. I'm, I'm, there will I'm be another definitely one. keen to see that. You, well, you grew up in a bakery, so. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, practically, yeah. So we'll leave it at those three things. You guys add the rest. And for all the Americans, especially in the southern states, give us some southern fried chicken recipes, and we'll do some more of that. But all different kinds of cooking, all fire-based cooking, fire yep. to fork. No gas in this series. No gas in this series. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be quite sure about that.
We'll see. There's plenty of gas tomorrow. <laughs> So, all, right. all right, yeah, I'll, I'll give up. you that. Wrap this up. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can subscribe right here where the venison is. And if you'd like to support my triple bypass, you can go to patreon.com slash Ronnie Dale. I think I need a moment. That's a half Patreon. joke as well, by the way. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever you're watching it. What do you think of the venison?